Hi everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. I'm out for a ride today and I will give you some updates on the new bike project and some reflections about gym training all in the beautiful surrounds of the Sare Hills. I'm crossing the river here at Hampton Court. I'm going to head up for coffee stop at Giro and then uh, going uh, through the hills. Now at the same time, yes, I received some more components for the new bike project, the new handlebar. These are the Prime Aluminium Aerodynamic Bars Doyen. Yeah, I chose the aluminium ones because I wanted something cheap for the new bike and also strong. I didn't want to be mindful of possible carbon fiber breakage. So yes, I just went for the simple aluminum bars. They look quite nice. They're similar to the original uh, specialized uh, Aerofly bars. So I think they will uh, match the new bike very well. At the same time, I got a new bar tape and uh, the new shift and uh, brake cables because I will need to replace them anyway when I transfer all the components from the old Canyon to the new bike. I also swapped the integrated handlebars, the H31 I have on my old Canyon, to the new one. Everything went surprisingly well, no a and &E this time. And also changed the angle of the bars to, maybe not to reach the crazy aerodynamic position, but to give a slightly more natural approach when I reach the lever. So they are slightly turn inwards nothing crazy but they so far they've been um, quite comfortable I will report back again at the end of the ride last time I filmed this section I had to stop because it was all flooded uh, hopefully this time at the end of summer is not going to be the same and I'm starting here the Healy route, Staple Lane and then Crocknot, then Box Hill uh, and so on. Now the excuse for me to come out as well it was to talk about gym training and uh, anaerobic and aerobic effort in cycling because what I'm seeing is that a lot of people are focusing heavily on the aerobic element to the point that most of them they are trying to spin the way out of the hard efforts to enter as quickly as possible in that kind of heavy breathing aerobic state and I'm not convinced that it's the best approach to be stronger and uh, faster as cycling especially with the cycling that we do And I'm saying this because coming from uh, different sports when I approach cycling I was used to do um, boxing, kickboxing, gym training, uh, rock climbing anything that was of course strain related rather than aerobic long effort and I was a bit worried that my kind of state would not be allowed to be successful in cycling but after the obvious period of adjustment. I found myself actually pretty comfortable on the bike. The key for me is here on uh, the timings and uh, how do we use the resources and the energy for the effort. Anything up to two minutes effort, hard effort is uh, completely anaerobic but still we are using the anaerobic power generation and uh, not switching to full aerobic mode up until four minutes into the effort. I, I wonder how many times we found ourselves pushing really hard either climbing or sprinting more than two, three, four minutes max. And of course the hill continues, we switch to aerobic mode, the breathing becomes heavy. The problem is how many times we waste the initial effort because we are not used to this kind of really strong effort and that's why the gym is so important and the training that we do in the gym becomes so useful 
because we need to train that element more than the aerobic one. So we need to train to push very hard at the beginning of the effort when the anaerobic element is focused on, so we make the most of our section, we push hard, then of course the energy drops out, the aerobic mode kicks in, and we need to be used to then replenish quicker the power that we need for the further down the line anaerobic effort. When well, the main focus is the energy replenishment and the ability to use the energy and replenish it quickly for the next effort, in this context it doesn't really matter what we do actually in the gym as long as the effort is strenuous and gave us enough fatigue for the muscle to adapt. I'm not really in favor of specific gym exercise focus for cyclists. In the gym, the focus, to me, the more efficient one is to concentrate on full body training, big muscles, back, shoulder, and yes, legs. The key is how you do these exercises because it doesn't make sense to me in the gym to train light weights. I don't really understand even the term. Weights are there to give you a progressive overload and to make sure that the effort for each session is strenuous. It doesn't really exist the term of toning the muscle. The muscle either are uh, exercise hard for them to build up strength and power or I have to say it's a missed opportunity. People often refer to this term I want to look toned, I don't want to bulk up. Well, I'll tell you, you will never bulk up if you don't really focus on uh, external aid of substances. So if you go to the gym, I would say focus on uh, strong effort, 8 to 12 repetition. At the end of the 10 to 12 repetition, you need to be very fatigued. So you won't be able to continue for 15 or 18 or 20 more. Then you need to adjust the weight and go harder because that's the only way for the efficient strength training to increase your power, your strength and your ability to replenish the energy and get the most out of your training. Of course, I'm uh, exaggerating a little bit as usual. I'm not saying that you can't build strength and power not going to the gym. So yes, you can do push-ups and uh, free body exercises. Of course, it's just that the gym is so much more efficient because you go all the way there. So when you progress, you can keep the high effort by increasing the weight. It's so simple. But the focus has to be on the perfect technique. If your form is perfect, because you don't want to increase the weight just for the sake of it. You need to master each movement perfectly, then increase, of course, the weight as long as you progress. And it doesn't have to be that often or that long. I mean, even an hour a week or two hours a week, two sessions of full body, hard effort that will give you, in my opinion, the ability to recover much faster from the hard efforts on the bike and the overall cycling experience will be a lot more enjoyable. You will get a lot more on overall health, for bone structure, muscle, strength and overall, especially growing old, that's one of the important key factors. Stepper lane, Crocknot and uh, Box Hill done. I feel a bit tired now, I have to confess. <laughs> yes, all this uh, gym talk, guys. I'm very passionate about it, but feel free to disagree. I genuinely believe this has worked really well for me. And I'm just saying this because I think it can be useful for you too. These bars with the slight curve so far, very comfortable, very natural. I didn't go for an extreme angle.
a very good small improvement. I get cut so far. But it was all going too well. I decided to cut through a bike lane for once and unfortunately it was uh, very dirty. I hit a stone, there's a small scratch on the wheel and uh, a puncture. So yes, 26 quid gone <laughs> with the smart tube. Anyway. Well, back on the road. Not too bad, in all fairness. One of the few bike lanes I use. I can understand why some cyclists avoid them uh, at all costs because they are dirty and uh, there's a lot of debris. But anyway, back on the road, heading home. Quick stop at Giro Cafe, so I could use the truck pump to top up the pressure after I use my mini pump for the replacement tube. Yes, good ride. I really enjoyed today's one. Uh, I could have done it without the punch, of course. But yes, it's one of those things. I got better anyway at changing the tube. Actually, I was uh, pleased with my timing today. Thank you again, guys, for watching today's video. Let me know in the comments your thoughts about gym training, anaerobic, aerobic, energy expenditure and uh, replenishment. I would love to hear your point on that. And on that subject, I will leave you with a famous phrase that, yes, uh, the late Steve Jobs said in uh, one of his most famous speeches, stay strong, stay powerful. Or was it? Anyway. Thank you guys again for watching. See you to the next video. Ciao.